What is up, people of YouTube? I'm your host, Vernon. This is Hemingway Harbor. Let's fish that. All right, ladies and gents, it is July well and truly into summer and at the moment it is just past 7 p.m and it is 43 degrees celsius that's 109 degrees fahrenheit so it is rather hot out there for that reason we made our way out here to Hemingway harbor where in between the harbor and the fishing pier we are going to be relaxing in the water for a while until the sun goes down and then doing some nighttime fishing. Now I just quickly wanted to do a little intro why we still have some light but I'll show you some of the setups we're using and then we'll get to the fishing but it's mostly going to be nighttime fishing. All right guys quickly want to show you what we're using while we still have some light. The first setup we're going to be using that is going to be my carp setup, some pack bait and some corn. I'm going to throw that out there see if we can get some carp feeding. And on the second setup, we have a little Carolina rig that goes down to a circle hook. And on the circle hook, we're going to be putting some night crawlers, seeing for anything like bluegill or catfish willing to go for the night crawlers. And then we have a third rod on this one. We're just going to put out some anchovies, hoping again for catfish, or maybe some stripers. Now, why do I have three rods when you're only allowed two per license angler? Well, as you can see from the chairs, we are two license anglers out here. That's why we have four rods. The wife is over there busy with a whopper plopper, seeing if maybe there's some bass near these trees. As the light goes down, hopefully the sound of that little whopper plopper will bring in fish towards us. So two license anglers, four rods. We're gonna get them out there, get back in the water, take a swim or something just to cool down while we wait for some fish. All right, so we just had the sun move in behind the little mountains there as we got our rods out into the water. Now we have our carp set up, little anchovies and our night crawlers. Now I doubt that we'll see these rods when it gets a bit darker, but if anything happens to these rods, I'll call it out. And of course, as the sun sets, the moon rises. So hopefully we get some fish. A lot of people believe when it's full moon or close to full moon, the fish are a lot more active because predatory fish can see a lot better. So let's hope for some action out there. But if we have any, I'll bring you guys straight to it. Yeah. Right, so automatic hook setter went off. This is on the anchovies. Feels like we have a fish on there. Also have quite a lot of grass and stuff. So I'm just gonna walk a bit into the water. I 
Also have the boat coming rather close to where the rods are, making their way back to the little boat launch. Feeling a lot of head shakes, so probably we have a little catfish on. get into the light but we do indeed have a channel catfish so nice decent sized channel catfish got him hooked nice in the corner of the mouth should be easy to get that little hook out there we are nice channel catfish he's not gray yet he's still golden colors but let's get him back to the water so hopefully not the only fish we get tonight, but a good start at least. And there he goes, back to the deep dark waters. Swam into a rock there. There he goes. Find your soul. Alright, so this rod of ours, the line is completely stiff, but it's not screaming, not taking out line. I'm not quite sure if there's anything on there. But the wife is quickly just going to set the hook and see if there's anything there. I think this is something that may be wrapped around a bush or something. Alright, so to whatever it was stuck, I think one of the hooks maybe broke off or something. So, sadly, no fish on the carp set up tonight. But like I said, this thing didn't set off the alarm, didn't go crazy, so something took, something it, took it around a bush or something. Or maybe a little crawl or something going into a hole. Both hoops are still on here. I don't know how. But no baits. So no clearly baits. something was stealing our baits down there. All right, ladies and gents. And with that, I think tonight's only going to be a one fish night. Well, that is not completely true. Next to these bushes we have in the water, quite a lot of bluegill we could see swimming around there. Of course, we could catch quite a few of those bluegill, but I didn't want to do another panfish video. We thought of throwing out the big rods and waiting for some big fish to show up. And luckily we did manage to get one channel catfish out there, but you also need to remember we are only fishing from seven till 11. It's not a very long time, especially considering that this is probably the time that the fish are coming from the deep waters back up shallow. So rebaiting would have been a good idea, but if you're able to stay out longer or maybe stay throughout the night, then it's a good idea to rebait constantly and see if you can get new baits to the fish. When it's very hot outside, a quick little fishing session at night can be all the difference just to get on some fish again now i do also have to point out there's a boat out there with a green light on probably most of the predators went to that little green light so it can be difficult to find fish okay so it's probably been a bit of a short video but i want to thank you guys for following us on this trip please do give a little thumbs up for at least catching some fish out there feel free to ask any questions down below in the comments if you've not subscribed to the channel yet, consider doing so. Hitting the big red subscribe button will turn grey and say subscribed. Alright, but that's going to bring an end to this night. Thank you guys for watching and like always, see you next time.